Hi hey everybody, welcome back to 10 Minute Reviews. This is Freya. I'm Jason. I'm Amy. And we're confused. And we're bringing you today's episode. So as always, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. We're a small family channel just trying to have fun and we love to talk about books. It's what we want to do. Um, and we talk about all genres of you guys, made, well, all genres that we read. So if you notice, we've never talked about a romance novel, um, and we never will. Um, Although, depending but, on well, yeah, flavor depending. Romance. That's true. There's, <laughs> we've definitely talked about some uh, hey, hey, hey books. So uh, we talk about everything, you know. And we're, we're talking about books that are fun. Yeah. We're 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 talk. We're, we're not talking about books that are equivalent of going to the opera. We're talking about books that are equivalent of going to the to the blockbuster. Um, you know, blockbuster movie, the the hundred fifty million dollar full of explosions. But that's the you know, we 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 want to talk about books that are just fun. We want you guys to try out new authors that are fun. Um, so today, we want to I want to talk about uh, a for those of you that are mystery, crime, thriller type fans. I've talked about this thriller. author in the past. Um, <laughs> that there's no zombies in it Damn. or vampires, but. I have talked about this author in the past. His original books were just nonstop action, the the one series. It was a trilogy, but since then, he he uh, he started writing in other not genres, but he really improved his writing. Those were just nonstop action. Those were those were like B movie level. I mean, it's just you know it was action, 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 very cartoonish. You know, the character he was you know this uber martial artist soldier kind of guy that just it was. It was very, 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 very cartoonish type of action. It was awesome. It was a lot of fun, but it was very over the top. And he, he's trying to ground himself a little bit more. And he's got a couple series. And the most, most, uh, most recent book that came out, I picked it up. I've read all of, all of his books in this series. And this book is called Death Comes Due. And I'm, as usual, I'm going to talk about four things. The world, the characters, the plot, and the writing style. So the world, look around you. It's, it, it's modern times, modern earth, modern world. This isn't sci-fi. This isn't fantasy. This is a crime thriller type of book. So the world is the world you see around you every single day-ish. You almost kind of think of it more as like the hidden world because most of us are not, you know, associating with criminals um, that we know of. Right. I'll, I'll say that much. Um, as far as the characters go, the primary character of this book is James Beck. And he's the primary character of the other books in this, this ongoing series. And James Beck is it's an interesting character in that he's an ex-con with no criminal record. Um, it's, it's pretty interesting. And, and they even make a joke about it. About uh, One of the characters, uh, one of the, the uh, black characters, even make, that's also an ex-con, even makes a joke of, and they'll lock anybody up. They even lock you up, and you're white with, with no priors. Um, he, was, he went to jail for murdering a cop, for killing a cop. But he had it overturned on appeal and expunged, so technically he has no criminal record. But he spent eight years in prison for killing. And he doesn't deny he killed the cop. There was just extenuating, it was, it was basically, it was a bar fight. There were extenuating wow. circumstances, and um, there were other cops there, and through some very shady things, he, um, he was convicted, basically railroaded. Um, although he doesn't deny he did it, and he probably should have gone to jail, but not for... for uh, Quite as long as he did. So now he, of course, won a lawsuit when he got when he uh, finally got released. Because when they found out that the testimony that was that was given that the prosecutor chose not to use because it would have favored um, James Beck, and that testimony was from another cop. Um, yeah. You know, of course, he ended up getting out. So he sued. They he won a bunch of money. So he basically runs. He he, he owns a number of properties around, and he. He basically kind of runs a group of ex-cons, and they're all pretty badass. I mean, one is a uh, mobster. Um, I think the Benino family, the Bernardo family. Uh, but anyway, one's a mobster. Um, one is a massive gay black man that is their main really killer. Um, he's pretty dangerous. Uh, then they've got uh, Manny, the older, probably in his 60s, uh, uh, Hispanic uh, ex-con. I can't remember what his specialties were. I think maybe, I mean, he's a killer also, but um, I think maybe theft or something like that. They, they've got uh, a couple of hacker hacker ones. Uh, so every party needs a hacker. Yes. And so he basically runs this crew, and uh, and it's pretty awesome. He, he's the mastermind. He's really, really, he's very clever, very smart. 
Um, and the rest of the books have all been pretty interesting as far as events that have, that have happened. Well, this one, and I'm going to go into the plot, and this book, the, uh, it, it actually starts out with a double murder and Manny disappearing, uh, being kidnapped. And, uh, and from there, it, things just spiral out of control real fast because the next thing you know, James Beck's main property and headquarters is on fire. Uh, he's being chased by the cops who, of course, once the cops start digging in, you know, his, the fact that he went to jail for killing a cop, of course, comes out. And now he's, you know, plus there's, he's definitely suspected to be involved in quite a few other things, just they can't really catch his ass. Um, but somebody is targeting him. And, uh, but they're pretty clever at it. They've got a pretty solid plan. So Manny's kidnapped. Um, Baldessari, who's the mobster, ends up in the hospital. Um, God, the other one's name starts with a D. I can't remember, but the uh, uh, other one ends up uh, also in the hospital at the same time. Um, the, uh, uh, you know, the hackers are, of course, hacking. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's both a it's both both a mystery and a crime thriller at the same time because James Beck obviously is a criminal so the way he does things is not what you would consider legal and legal methods he he definitely does what needs to be done he'll kill who needs to be killed he doesn't care about the law aside from not ending up in jail you right. know he's very very careful in that but since he's got a very high priced lawyer pretty much at his beck and call Beck <laughs> James Beck. Um, <laughs> A uh, uh, pretty high-priced lawyer at his beck and call. He, he has pretty good armor there. Plus, he's got a ton of money. He even mentions that I can. He's like, I can hire the best lawyers in this town to keep all of you in litigation for the next ten years. So he's he's got a lot of a lot of armor because, um, as we know, ex-con or not, if you've got money, you got cool. armor. Uh, if you got money and you got a good lawyer, you you you've got a lot of armor. It's the golden rule. He who has the gold makes the rules. That's right. And, uh, of course, if you get through the money, if you get through the lawyer and then you get through the money, well, he's also got a gun. So, um, and a very dangerous group of people around him. As far as the writing style goes, it's really hard to pin down with John Clarkson um, exactly how to articulate his writing style. Because he doesn't write as non-stop action as his one series was. The one series was just like, it's, just, it's so much fun. I read them all They're back there. Um... But, uh, but yeah, there's this kind of over the top. You definitely have to suspend your, your sense of reality. Um, so triple X style? Through it. Yes, that's, that's pretty much, yeah. If I were to compare it to a movie, yeah, triple X style. Um, if, uh, whereas with, with John Clarkson, I'd almost have to go more with a TV show. Well, I don't want to go to another, compare it to another author. But, yeah, actually, I, I, you know, um, Michael Connolly... Um, his writing style is a little bit more faster, fast paced. So faster. instead of comparing it to Michael Connelly's books, I actually would actually compare his writing style closer to the TV show Bosch. It's okay. there's something about it that I mean he's 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 very interesting. He definitely when it comes to action and there is action in the book, he you know it's it's gripping, it's engaging. But something about his writing style and it's through all of his most recent books just grips you. It holds you and you just you can't let go. I, I've actually been I'd actually been holding on to Death Comes Due in my in my Kindle for probably probably three four weeks it's about three or four weeks since I bought it. What are you chewing on, Fuzzy? Oh, your feet. Okay, it's all right. Um, <laughs> so uh, you know I've been holding on it for three or four weeks because I kept finding other books other books to read. I always have three or four books going at once, and I finally hit, hit a dead spot on on one of my devices. So I said, Hey, I've been meaning to read this book. It's a great author. I'm going to read them. And I remember I started it um, 30 minutes before I had to leave for work. And I was 24% of the way through the book when I left for work and I finished it on my first break at, uh, at work. It was just, you just could not stop reading it. I mean, I was, I was reading it as I'm walking from my car to the elevators. I'm walking from the elevator down to the, to the locker room downstairs as I'm walking from the bathroom to the elevator to go up to work. Um, just, just could not put it down. As soon as I, I stepped out for my, my break, I hadn't even made it through the doors yet, and I already had it out and was, was reading it. Um, it's just, it, it's gripping. You just, you can't put it down. It's all of his books in, this, in the James Beck world. I know he has another series, aside from the one series, that I haven't read yet. I intend to read it, and when I do, I will let you guys know about it. But for now, if you have not read John Clarkson, and 
you haven't read any of the James Beck books. What are you doing with yourself? Exactly. you got to hit the like and subscribe button and go freaking read them. You don't necessarily need to read them in order either. While they do talk about the events from previous books, they are self-contained books with self-contained plot. There's no cliffhangers. There's not, not much left over from, from previous books. Um, so, yeah, guys, go check it out. John Clarkson, it's James Beck books. Death Comes Due was really good. And we will catch you guys next time. Bye now. Bye.